Okay, I'm actually looking at a walkthrough right now, so it should be Do Me So Far Do Me What what's going on? Uh hang on, maybe uh since I pressed the wrong key first, anyway. Yeah, because that always works. I don't understand what's what's going on. If this doesn't work this time, I'm just kind of quitting right now. So, do, me, so, fa, do, me. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why I did that. Oh well, finally we can proceed. That was longer and tedious than it needed to be. Because I know the puzzle. I know the answer to that puzzle. I, I've known the answer to that since I was like eight years old, so... Yeah. Yeah, there's, uh, the, you don't see that. The secret passage here, which I think looks a little lighter, but could be wrong, you know, color blindness. We get a piece of heart. Not a heart. Big heart, whatever. Hooray! And it's refilled. Don't worry, people. It takes longer in other chapters when we get more hearts. <laughs> Yeah, you'll you'll enjoy that then, especially when we start using pills. And people who beat in the game know what I'm talking about in chapter seven. Okay, well, here's our dungeon right now, and we can kill that slime for now that first throw sounded weird for some reason. Yeah, um, if you if anyone if you folks happen to die by chance, um, you can go here because at one let every die you always start with three hearts. You can actually use a secret passage right here and fill up to seven hearts, so you can at least get the shoot, uh, morning star again. So, you know, you know, can at least you know get something good. But yeah, this dungeon also introduces red bats. Uh, they move twice as um, move twice as fast, and I believe they also take a full heart when hit. But I'm not 100% sure on that because I don't like getting hit by them. Now you think this might be actually a safe room, but it's not. Uh, once stuff happens, I'm just gonna kind of keep going. Uh, once you land on that panel, especially that panel, you have to just keep jumping to uh, open the door. And as you can see, stuff's happening really fast. Um, this dungeon goes by pretty quickly because we're just gonna keep going. And oh shit, we get we get stuff thrown at us a lot. Just make sure you jump over everything because uh, you will die. Yeah. Those things are more of annoyance. You cannot kill them no matter what. Believe me, I've tried. Oh, but here we are. We're in a safe place now. For, well, relative to where we were, I guess. <laughs> now these snakes, um, whenever they're facing you, uh, they will charge you. And they're about twice as strong as the other cobras we've seen before. Oh sweet, we got plus two. But it's not like I'm gonna be dying while I do this. I don't, I don't, I don't die in let's plays. Well, I do, but. Not in a game like this that I know really well. Okay. Now, oop, okay. Now this room, um, I actually had a lot of trouble with this uh, room growing up. But if you watch the rats, you can actually see how to uh, progress um, in this. Because if we go on this this panel, panel, panel uh, we get taken down to here. And there are these four stairs. You can go up the stairs, and you'll go into one of the four um, corners of the room, that, the floor above us. So you actually want to go to the bottom right one, because uh, you may think, because uh, you can see on the left wall, uh, there's that little hidden passage thing, but you don't want to do that, because right above this panel uh, where Mike is, there's actually a fake uh, floor. As there is uh, right now as well. It's like that whole row is just fake flooring. So if you go down from here, it's either one or two panels down from here that it's a fake floor as well. So, yeah, you can't really get out uh, unless you take the bottom right one. And just kind of go around the level. Or the room, I mean. Yeah, this one, this dungeon is not hard. It's more of you actually have to think of how the, how the game wants you to progress. Now this one, just like the first dungeon, our first, uh, second room of the dungeon, 
uh, except uh, you can see it's going by a lot more, a uh, lot more quickly. Now this one's kind of difficult because you have to make sure you get this one right here. Uh, that's the only way you can get out. And uh, this, that's a killer bowling ball. You are you are sting correctly. That is a killer bowling ball. It will destroy us in one hit. That is a one hit death. Uh, no matter how many hearts you have, no matter what, if that hits you, you will die. So you are not safe when that thing's on screen. But luckily, you're given plenty of time, and as you can hear the little, that's that means it's hit the other side of the room, and it won't come after us. Oh, damn it! That guy hit me. Oh. Okay, good. I only have to kill those snakes. Come on, come at me, bro. Alright, now, um, this part, uh, yeah, you do actually need that ghost specter, scepter, whatever. Because, um, you can't actually beat the, uh, well, you have to get it because it's, you know, in the center, but, uh, you will be using that. Um, yeah, you m probably thought that, you know, in the ghost village would be the last ghosts we see in the game. No, there's a few more ghosts in this game, actually. They're hidden. That's kind of why we need that. Yes, yeah, so just take that down path, and uh, if you just follow this path, you'll just kind of... We'll do kind of like a big circle like we did in Chapter 3, a bit, like a cent just like a central room. Now, that is our lovely green one. This guy moves a bit faster than our blue friend from a while ago. But again, same deal. If he touches you, you will die. Also, I don't... I don't know what's in that center room. Like, off the top of my head, I just don't. I feel like it's probably some hearts. There we go. Okay. I was saying, I think it's maybe some hearts and, like, a um, potion, but I don't need it, and I'm not going to risk my life uh, uh, trying to get that. Now, um, you may think, oh boy, you know, there's got to be one of these things right here. Uh, you know, this this got to be the right way. No, actually, it's not. Remember how I said there was a ghost? There you go. Well, I don't know if it's... There you go. Yeah. You have to do that, otherwise you'll just keep going in a big circle, and uh, you'll never just progress through the level. Let me see. I did this in my testing. Good, I can get... Ah, never mind. Yee! Owie, I'm using the yo-yo. It's the worst thing ever. Oh well. After this room where... Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll be getting enough hearts to... Oh. Also, I'm pretty sure those things are an instant death, but I don't remember, so I'm not gonna try it. Yeah, so don't worry. We have enough for the uh, morning star again. Just keep running. There we go. And now we see a new variation on the bowling ball. That's right, it no longer, it only goes uh, one alcove to the right and to the left of us. So you actually need the Morning Star to shoot back every now and then to stun it. So you can actually get out of its uh, path. Now you don't actually have to get that shield if you don't want to. Um, I mean, you can. I'm not going to, because I see no point in getting it. Come on. Like, there we go. Okay, now we just... I, I don't... I think you actually have to kill everything in this room first. Before it unlocks, or just the snakes. I'm not certain. Okay, I guess you have to kill everything, but whatever. Now, um... This is the first. This is the first dungeon... Uh, well, the only chapter that has a dungeon in it that does not have a final boss. This level's done once we jump on this panel three times. Yep, and we've uh, we've discovered the secret of the straight. And I'm uh, I'm gonna be quiet after the dungeon thing after it ends because I actually like the music here.
Well, we've done it. Yeah, I don't know why I like that little version of it. I just do. Good luck, and now we're done with Chapter 5. Let's go. Sweet.